Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're uh, returning, thanks for coming on back. If you're new, first time here, um, my name is Jamie, Mad Rock Watches and Adventure. You'll find watch reviews and some outdoor ATV type of uh, adventures that I go on. Today, a lot of Seiko. If you follow me on Instagram, I've got uh, a few posts up already about this watch. The, um, mm -hmm. the channel is uh, a little bit behind my Instagram feed, and I've shared a little bit about this watch. So we've got a Seiko box. This is my second Seiko, and it's a Turtle SRP777. So that's the all-black bezel dial face and so uh, the triple seven OJ uh, sorry triple seven J1 it comes on a rubber strap a not so great or not so comfortable I'm sure it's nice and tough Seiko rubber when I bought it I bought it used in great condition Condition though, um, came on this crown and buckle NATO. It's about 1.2 millimeters. Sorry, yeah, 1.2 millimeters thick. It's not quite broken in yet. Still a little bit, uh, sort of, sort of hard. Uh, great construction, great stitching, nice smooth feel. It's a nylon NATO from Crown and Buckle. It's not signed or anything, so uh, I'm just going on what the guy, what the guy uh, told me, who I bought it from. And uh, once I got it home, after a few hours, I put it on this uh, strap mill vintage leather chestnut brown with cream stitching. Um, this is not the original clasp. It's a pre-V clasp that came off another strap that I don't wear. So I just uh, sort of modded, I guess. I took the clasp off. Of another strap and put it on this one and I am loving how that looks strap mill Canada you get a chance check them out making uh, I've got this vintage leather and a uh, crazy horse leather that's uh, that I'm really enjoying so if we go through the specs on the watch I guess the main hitters it's a um, mineral crystal the hardlex mineral crystal 120 click unidirectional bezel. It's got 22 mil, uh, 22 millimeter uh, lug width. It's a 45 millimeter case diameter. And it is, I've forgotten it, let's measure it again. It is a 47 millimeter lug to lug. And those lugs, drilled holes, drilled lug ears there. It's got a screw down case back. Prospects logo, Seiko, Air Divers, 200 meter water resistant, made in Japan. And so 120 click unidirectional bezel. Very quiet, no click. It reminds me of an Orient. I'll bring that into the picture after when we're discussing another topic about the Seiko. So it's got a day date complication there at the three. Seiko printed there at the 12, Prospects, Automatic Divers, 200 meters, all printed. Uh, a portion of the dial uh, indices are printed and then loomed up. And those hands are loomed. Great sweep there. And so, it's the 4 hour 36 movement in this watch. Crown action. The crown is not signed. You can see a nice polished edge to it there. Knurling. Easily operated crown. Screw down. Action on it is really good. Let's hear it. There it is. It just popped. You can't hear it. You can see it. So. Hackable. There you go. Now one thing that I did notice didn't know this. Let's see if I can get it to... Uh, I want to show you the day. There we 
go. Let's turn it. There you go. You've got, at least on this model, some Arabic writing. So I got, I have, I've got an English. Wow, there we go. English and Arabic day. Monday, Tuesday. Yeah, so let's get it back to Tuesday. Up oh, in the day. Today is the 22nd. Great action on it. Let's reset that time. Sorry. Three. Action on the crown is really good. It screws down really easy. It winds. So, there you go. All the major points on it. Nice polishing to the end. The sides of the case. That cushion case look. So this one shows a lot better in person than it does in the pictures. Sometimes you get a watch and you're like, hmm, not so hot. Uh, as it was in the pictures. This one I found to be the complete opposite. This is the first sort of, we'll say, new uh, Seiko I've owned. I've got another one from the early 90s that's uh, showing its age, showing some patina. The loom is, I would have said the loom is probably worn out. It doesn't loom up real well. This particular watch looms just great. And uh, we'll get around to a loom shot here after. So... Um, here's the one thing, and I'm learning about it, the uh, Seiko, let's see, Seiko Quality Control we'll talk about, and I'll hold it steady for you. So the sword, the indice at 12, that sort of sword indicator, sword in the stone, I've heard it called other things, you can see the uh, minute track doesn't line up quite on point it looks like the bezel lines up you can never quite tell where that bezel is clicking so right now it looks like the bezel lines up to the minute track and then the 12 o'clock sword hand doesn't quite line up to the minute track so I guess this is what people talk about with the uh, alignment, sort of quality control issues with Seiko. Um, yeah, once you see it, you can't unsee it. I'm a big fan though. This is uh, my first real solid Seiko. A little bit uh, sort of up the food chain from the SKX. And so that bezel just looks great. Polishing on the case, brushed on the top. So I paid 400 Canadian used for this one. I would say get after it. It's uh, if you're looking for a new watch and you're looking for a Seiko, I'd skip past the SKX and I'd go right after a Turtle, SRP triple seven or a double seven five, SRP seven seven five. Another great one, gilt, uh, sort of like gilt hands they call it. So it'll be more gold on the face around the indices and uh, sort of a yellowish gold numbers and markers on the bezel insert so if i was looking for a seiko today i think i'd be looking for this uh mini turtle yeah not my thing skx uh, i never got it but this and this is great it's uh going to be a real strap monster as it goes uh so here you go you got it on a leather it looks awesome on that nato so uh, I've got another uh, couple of straps on the way. I'll try it out. 22 millimeter lug width means that straps. I'm into like a wider. Uh, I, it's part of the reason I got this preview buckle on. I'm starting to really like the wider straps. So as wide as I can get them. No taper. This one tapers a little bit. Sort of looks like it tapers. Anyways, let's give you a loom shot.